Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. Some more information has been revealed about why the Mercedes Aeropod concept didn't work, and the team have made some bold statements as they look to get back in the fight with Red Bull after introducing new upgrades. Make sure to like the video, and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. So let's start with McLaren, where team boss Andrea Stella has explained why the Mercedes Aeropod concept was always likely to fail as we know Mercedes introduced this concept at the start of 2022. And on paper it looked like a very good idea, but in reality, it just didn't work, and the team were uncompetitive for most of the season. But towards the end, they became the second fastest team, and even comfortably won the Brazilian Grand Prix, giving the team hope that it was the right way to go for 2023. So they stuck with the Zero Pods, but it just didn't work out for them. While Mercedes had a decent race in Melbourne, they just didn't have the pace in Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Miami or Baku. This forced Mercedes to switch its concept, which saw the team get rid of the Zero Pod and introduce a wider side pod that had more of a downwash solution. Speaking about the benefits of wider side pods, Stella said, I would say wide side pods is actually the primary concept that seems to interact very well with the floor. The side pods, in simple terms, they act a bit like mini skirts. So aerodynamically, having the wide side pods helps the suction of air to the floor. That's the concept you can't do without if you want to maximise the suction of the floor and fuller load on the car. Now Mercedes isn't the only one to change things up, with teams gravitating towards the Red Bull wide style of side pods, where the air is pushed down towards the floor and diffuser. And it's no surprise, given Red Bull have been so dominant this year, like they've won every race so far, and it looks like they could go and win them all given how far ahead they seem to be. But it did look like Mercedes made a promising step in Barcelona, and even though they were quite far behind Red Bull towards the end of the race, team boss Toyota Wolf did say that Lewis Hamilton was cruising at the end, meaning the gap could have been smaller. And Hamilton did say that Mercedes had something in the pipeline to fight with Red Bull. He said, I think we're going in the right direction, and I know we have something in the pipeline moving forward. So I'm hoping that at least by the end of the year, maybe we can, it would be great if we could challenge them. And on top of that, George Russell warned that with the team appearing to be heading in the right direction, they can develop their cars faster than any other team on the grid. He said, The car naturally feels really, really strong. It probably felt the best it's ever felt around Barcelona because of the cooler conditions. But definitely this season, probably the best it's felt, the most together it's felt. So we're making strides in the right direction. We just need to make sure, especially into next year, that we hit the ground running because I think we as a team probably develop faster than everybody else. Now I do think Mercedes are on the right path now. Like it's clear the Zero Pod just wasn't right for these new ground effect cars, so having a wider side pod that helps more with airflow seems to be the way to go. And with the team seemingly having become the second fastest just with that one upgrade, they can now start focusing on developing that, instead of trying to find answers as to why they're lacking pace. While I think performance could vary from track to track, I do think at most Mercedes will be quite competitive, and make small steps at most races to close in on Red Bull. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care.